and welcome back to the shop. For those of you who are new to the channel, I'm Susan and I'm glad you could join me today. Have you been looking at or possibly purchased one of the Canva invitation templates out on Etsy and wonder how to print multiple copies of it? Or have you purchased one that is double-sided and don't know how to align them so that you can print both sides? Well, that is just what I'm going to be going showing you how to do today. I will show you how to duplicate your invitation and make sure that they are the correct size as well as how to set up your invitation so that the front and back of your document will align perfectly when you print them. So if this is something that you are interested in learning more about, stick around and let's get started. So for the first part of this lesson today, I'm going to show you how to print multiple copies of your customized invitation on one piece of paper. For the most part, most people aren't printing on a 5 by 7 piece of paper. You're working with an 8.5 by 11 and it'd be nice to be able to utilize that full piece of paper by printing two invites on one page. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. Now this is assuming that you've already opened your template and that you have already edited it and customized it to the way you want it to be. Now if you haven't edited your template and you need to learn more about editing and customizing Canva invitation template for your celebration, there's a link in the description below and it'll be a video there for just how to do that. But for now, I'm assuming that you have opened the template and have already edited it to and customized it to where you want it to be. So once that's done, as you can see on the screen, we're all done with what we, are, what we want to do for our editing. So the first thing we want to do is come up to the top and click on share. We want to click on download and then we want to come up to file type. You can see that there's JPEG, PNG, PDF. Um, what we want to work with when it, for the download is a PNG file. For today, I've got two images here because in the next section, I'm going to show you how to print the front and the back. But for right now, we're only working with the front and doing multiple copies of that. So I'm going to click on page one. I'm going to click on done. And I'm going to come down here to download. And what that's going to do is it's going to download it to your laptop or your PC or whatever device you're working on. You want to save that to, um, to a specific file type and whatever folder you want it to be in. Next, what we want to do is we want to click on File. We want to click on Create New Design. Click on Custom Size. We're going to click on Inches. And then we're going to come up here and we're going to put in a width of 8.5 and a height of 11 because that's going to be the size of the piece of paper that we are working with and going to print the multiple um, copies of the invitation template on. C click on create new design and as you can see we have a blank canvas on here that is eight and a half by 11. Now you can come up here and click on your title and you can insert um, splish splash birthday invitation for Olivia. Oops, if I can spell. I guess I need another T in there. I click off of it and that way it's saved within your Canva account as the um, printable document that you're going to be working with. Next, you're going to come over here to Uploads. You click on Upload Files. Then you're going to go out, find the file that you just downloaded, and up, upload it. It will bring it into the bottom, which I've already done. So we're going to click on that. And now you're going to take hold of the bottom of one of the circles in one of the corners. And we're going to drag it a little bit. And what I want to do is, right now it's brought in at 5 by 9 by 8.2. That's not the size that I want. I, we need to resize it to a 5 by 7. So we're going to drag that down until we see five by seven. And that's the size that we wanted to work with today. Next, you're going to click on these curved arrows because we want to rotate the design. Rotate it 90 degrees. We're going to move it closer to the top. And then we're going to click, we're going to click on it. And we're going to do a control C 
and then control V to copy and paste it and then bring it down to the bottom. That gives you two copies of a five by seven document on your eight and a half by 11 piece of paper. Now we're going to click on the top one, click on the bottom one. We want to center them. I'm going to do a position. We're doing a range. As you can see, the center is already blocked out. It's not, it's discolored, so it's not a selection that we can make. So I've done a pretty good job of aligning my two documents. So that one is ready to go. So we're going to click off. And now we're ready for printing. So we're going to come up to the top and click on share. We're going to click on download. We're going to come up here to a file type. And when you print your final document for printing, you want to come down to PDF print and select that. Now we're going to click on download and it's going to download the file for you. And then you're going to do the same thing as you did before when you downloaded your file. It's saved as a splish splash birthday invitation for it, Olivia. And that document, is, if you click on it and open it up, this is what you will see and what you'll be able to print. And it will go right to your printer. So let's close that back down. So next I will be going over how to print double-sided invitations in Canva. Instead of writing all this information down somewhere, remember you can always like and subscribe to the channel and it will provide you with a URL link and an easy way to come back and review the video anytime you like. So now let's get started on the next section on how to print double-sided invitations. So same as before, I'm assuming that you've already opened up your template, you've edited it, and you customized it for your own celebration. Now, as you can see on the page, I've, we're working with a double-sided invitation. It has a front and a back. I'll open it up so you can see both pages. And they've already been edited to what we need for Olivia's birthday. We're gonna do the same as we did before. We need to download them, so we're gonna come up to Share. We're going to click on Download. We may want to make sure it's a PNG file type. For this one, we need to make sure that both pages are selected. So come under Select Pages, click on the down arrow, make sure that all pages are selected and highlighted with a check mark. Click on Done, and then click on Download. Now, since this is two different pages, it's actually going to download into a zip folder. You'll want to double click on the zip folder and it'll have two different um, files in there. You'll want to click them, move them to a folder and rename them to whatever you want them to be. Once you've done that, you want to come back into Canva. We're going to click on File. We're going to click on New Design. Click on Custom Design. The inches um, units need to be inches. And then we're going to do the same width as we did before. It's going to be an 8.5 by 11 inch piece of paper. So we're going to create, create the new design. Now, next we're going to click on File, Settings, Show Rulers and Guides. You want to make sure that this has a check mark beside it when working with a double sided application, and you'll see why in a minute. Next, we're going to come over here to Uploads. You're going to click on Upload Files, bring in the files, the front and the back that you were working with. I've already got mine here, so I'm going to click on that. Click on one of the circles to resize it to what you need it to be. Five by seven, click on the double arrows and rotate it 90 degrees. Bring it to the top. Do a control C, control V to copy and paste. Bring it down. Click on position. And what you want to do is make sure both of these are highlighted. Click on both of them by hitting, click on the one, hit down your, hold down your shift key, click on the other one, and then come over to the left and hit center. And what that does is it centers one on top of the other. Now, what you want to do is let's move that on the page to actually move 
center it a little bit better on the page. And as you can see, the cross arrows on the page going um, horizontally and vertically, that's going to show you that it's centered on the page. Next, what we want to do is we're going to create some guidelines so that when we're working with two different pages, they will line up with each other, the images for the front and the back of the invitation. So we're going to double click on the double arrows on the ruler here. You see a purple line. Bring it down to where it snaps onto the top of the invitation. Come to the left, do the same. Have it snap to the side. You can see the coloration changes as it hits the side. It snaps to there. Then we'll bring another one over to the right side. Snap it to the right. And then we're going to bring down three more. One for the bottom of the top invitation. One for the top. And then one for the bottom of the bottom application. Oops, that didn't stay, did it? Snap it to the bottom of the bottom invitation. Now we're going to zoom this out a little bit just to make sure that the lines are lining up right with the edges of each of the invitations, which they seem to be doing very nicely. So if we click off, you'll see that it lines up in the corners. So we'll zoom back out. Now we want to create an another page, add another page. We can do that by clicking here in the box at the bottom, or you can click here at the top, either one, and that'll add another page. And you can see in the second page that it added, it already has the guidelines that you created from the first page. So that'll make it nice and easy for you to insert your back of the invitation and line it up with these. So go to your uploads, click on the back of the invitation, which you've already uploaded. Come down here, click on the circle, resize it to what you need it to be, five by seven. We're going to rotate it. And then we're going to zoom out a little bit. And then we're going to scroll so I can see the top. Because what, what you want to do is make sure that this hits in and fills the entire square that you have, or rectangle, I should say. Now we're going to take this and click on it. Do a copy and paste, control Z, control V, bring it down to the bottom, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to make sure that this lines up exactly with the guidelines that we have. So now if we look at it, look at both pages, you can see that there's two of the fronts on the first page, and you've got two of the backs on the second page. And once they're printed, they will be in the exact same position. So when you cut them out, you will have a front and back that line up perfectly with each other. So let's click on the squares, zoom back out a little bit, and now we're ready to download our file. Excuse me. So we do that by clicking on Share. We click on Download. And instead of a PNG file, we are going to do a PDF print this time. We're going to come back down here and we're going to make sure that both pages are selected. You'll see check marks on page one and page two. We click done and then we click download. And that will download as a PDF file. Now, if you double click on your PDF file, you will see the first page, and then you will see the back second page. And like I said, you'll print the first page on the front, then you will print this on the back side of it, and you will have a double-sided invitation. I want to thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions on how to print your Canva templates, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And remember, you're always welcome back here at the shop anytime. Have a great day.